what's up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here and welcome back to a new episode of The Road to Glory. Episode number two to be in fact. Thank you so much for the response on the first episode. You guys are absolutely awesome. It made my day to see the comments. So if you can keep the hype going for this series, that would be absolutely amazing. Let's try and hit over 2,000 likes on this video. That would be sick. So someone in the comments section actually gave me a tip on how to get even more coins at the start of the game without playing a game. So we're doing that right now. Basically, if you go to the catalogue, you can pick up a whole bunch of kits and footballs that are discardable or sellable on Ultimate Team, which is really good because most people have played the game long enough to have a few levels on their EA account, which means we can go in, get all these kits, sell some of the ones that we want or keep some of the ones that we want, and then discard the rest. As you can see, that's what I'm doing on your screen right now. And it brings us up in total of coins to actually around the seven, eight, nine thousand 9,000 coin mark which is really helpful at the start of the game. Once again, we've not even played a single match yet, and we've already got a full chemistry gold team and coins in the bank too, which is brilliant. Um, so this is the squad that we actually built in the last episode. If you haven't caught up with that already, there is a card in your top right corner where you can go ahead and view uh, view the episode. It was a pretty good one because I like I like the whole starting idea of it all. And we did a good episode. And I said what we would do is go into foot draft in this second episode because that's another good way to try and earn some coins and maybe get some rewards uh, to really help the coin total going forward on your actual ultimate team. So we get the option of... Uh, uh, five formations? Yeah, five formations. We choose the 4-3-3 number four. Um, uh, Captain-wise, we get the choice of Hazard, Lacazette. But, of course, we go with Ronaldo right there. And I'm just going to let this blitz through in the background. Uh, and we'll talk about some of the players that are actually going into the team. Now, I wasn't lucky enough to get some, like, legends and stuff like that. But, of course, I feel pretty lucky to get Ronaldo. Although, from... From what I can see on social media, on Twitter and stuff like that, people are saying that, actually... Ronaldo's popping up all the time, especially in form Ronaldo, so maybe I've even got a little bit unlucky. Um, however, I always choose the 4-3-3 formations because they're my favourite on this game. I'm not too much of a fan of the two striker formations. I like one big guy up front and then two nice quick wingers out wide. But that's the way it goes. As you can see, we're getting some pretty good players on the bench. Some shabby ones, but some alright ones as well. Uh, and in total, I think we managed to get ourselves full chemistry, just about. Not every player is on full chem, um, because no one's really going to link up to it or bummy Yang up front, which kind of sucks. But this is what we end up with. And then this right here is what we actually end up with that we decide to go into a game with. Um, I think Iniesta and Aubameyang are the only ones there that are actually on lower chemistry, which is not too bad. And we've got some good substitutes as well. So we go into a game and of course we come up against Inform Ronaldo, Callum Wilson, Feguli, Enzo Perez, Kovacic, Koscielny, all sorts of pretty good players. But in all honesty, our team looks slightly better in my opinion. Um, however, this guy was very, very patient. And uh, I don't do too well against patient players. We nearly score a belter with Ronaldo from a free kick right there. Um, but he was very good on the ball, I have to admit. You know, lots of lots of time and not sprinting all the time. Lots of quick turns, which meant I was struggling to tackle him, I have to admit. Uh, and somehow the referee sees that that is a penalty right there. He just steps out to try and grab the ball. <sighs> I don't know. That's a terrible start because Ronaldo steps up and, of course, scores the goal. Sticks it into the back of the net. And already we're on the back foot, even though... I don't know. I didn't feel like that was a penalty in the slightest. But in all honesty, I was doing well to not be 1-0 down already because this guy was just better than me, to be in fact. He, pay he makes it 2-0 as well, which that really sucked. I... I had a little bit of FIFA rage, which I haven't had really this year so far. I've been trying to keep myself a little bit more calm and composed. And this is actually the first online foot draft I've played since the game's been out. I've just not gone near it. Um, and I don't know if the gameplay felt different or whatever it was. But I was losing and I was going to lose this match. It was, it was just apparent to me that I was going to lose because he was a better player and I can take that every now and again but I really wish that goal had gone in because that was a absolutely beautiful ball through to Lucas Mora and he hits the post with that first time effort. As you can see we're getting dominated at half time so I decide to make three changes. Inform Payet, Memphis Depay and Marco Royce all coming on for me and he decides to also make three changes that are slightly better than mine. Royce, Neymar and Alexis Sanchez. This guy had a pretty good draft I have to admit. Um, and I thought by me bringing on my substitutes that that was going to help me in the second half. But actually what it did was when he brought his on, they were very, very good players. Neymar especially was tearing me apart. 
down the left hand side and I couldn't really get to the ball um, thank God for my goalkeeper he was keeping me in it a little bit uh, and we did play a good ball through to Ronaldo right here who's one on one with the keeper takes it calmly sticks it in the roof of the net we've got seven minutes left on the clock to get back into this match can it be done a lovely finish from Cristiano who I have to say for the throughout the rest of the game seemed pretty average even for my opponent Ronaldo definitely wasn't the best player on the pitch for him he then unfortunately makes it three run right at the end probably deservedly so as well and I can take that I can tolerate it but it's just very frustrating knowing that we could have gone further in the draft if we'd have had maybe a different opponent or something like that um, but so be it we uh, we won't will not reap it for the the most rewards possible However, we will at least get a couple of packs here to open that are going to help us on our way. Um, foot draft is a very good thing if you're a very good player. You know, it's going to reward you highly with very good packs. Um, we open up our packs here. The lone pack we got was Sillison in goal. Maybe we'll stick him in goal one time because we've actually got a Dutch goalkeeper. So maybe that would be quite useful at some point. Um, we then get a Gabulov who's not someone I'm going to want. He looks about the oldest man in the world as well right there as I'm just looking at him. Uh, and the third pack we get, which is just again another 5k pack. We do get ourselves a keeper that will probably sell, Asenjo, the Spaniard in the La Liga. Probably will go for a few coins. So we stick some of these things on the market and then just discard the stuff. I had a little look at all of their minimum buy nows and everyone was selling them for minimum and they weren't really selling. So I thought, you know what, take the coins and run. And we're actually up to a fairly decent number of coins, uh, especially once these two things right here sell. So... My plan for this episode was to just do foot draft and we were going to, in my head, we were going to progress all the way to the final and it was going to be lovely and we were going to win and get 100k pack and then we were going to get a nice inform card in the pack and it just didn't turn out that way. So it seems as we only managed to play one game of foot draft, I figured what I would do is just kick the ball, you know, start things off, get rolling with our actual team and go into some divisions. So our first game in Division 10 is against this guy. He's got a pretty average looking BPL squad and I nearly start things off with a flying Dutchman with Chupo Motting right at the start of the game. That would have been a beautiful first goal for our actual ultimate team. I then had the issue that I was getting through on goal right here a couple of times with Chupo, but I was just smacking it straight at the keeper right that's not going to be good enough I need to stick it past him in order to get the goals uh, we get through with Nigel de Jong of all people our CDM and he scores a goal to make it 1-0 in the 22nd minute not too bad then we play it off to uh, de Jong who gets it to Caligiuri who nearly scores again and that was a pretty decent chance Chupo is an absolute beast by the way I'm loving running the ball with him look at this dribbling and the skill moves and the banger of a finish to make that one 2-0 uh, my favorite goal so far of the series of course we've only scored like two or three so uh, of course that one's going to be the best one uh, but that was still nice the problem I have is that I go 2-0 up and then I crumble completely I don't seem to be able to hold on to my victory or hold on to my lead um, and unfortunately for me, like right there, come on Lasty, make it 3-1, stick that ball in the back of the net. But no, what I do is decide to absolutely crumble, he sweats it across and makes it 2-all, which <laughs> I've got to say it really does frustrate me sometimes, especially when I go into half time looking at the stats that I've had, thinking, Jesus Christ man, make it, make it like 3 at least, you know, you need to be 3 goals ahead in order to be very comfortable in Ultimate Team this year. Um, I do make it 3-2 with a nice header there, but some defensive mishaps. Manages to get the ball to him. He sticks it in the back of the net. And of course it is then 3 all. We don't have long to get back into this. And actually win the game. Which I feel like we would deservedly do. Until we get a lucky penalty here. Again he did slide in. But I felt like he kind of took the ball. But he also of course wiped out the man. Chupo steps up. But saved by the goalkeeper. Meaning we don't go 4-3 up. Now that is frustrating. However a couple of moments later. We whip it into the box. And big old Chupo. 6 foot 3 of him. Manages to head it past the goalkeeper. And at that point I felt a little bit more safe. And I felt very safe when Eduardo Vargas. Manages to stick one right in the top bin. The upper echelon as Spencer would say. I love that term. And we win the game 5-3 in the end. And that's a pretty good result, you know. I feel terrible about letting in the three goals because they were all defensive mishaps by myself. And I need to learn that and I need to get better at that. And that's the whole point of this series. We're doing 100 games on this road to glory to see just how far we can get. Uh, and that by, by doing so, we'll be able to tell you just how far you can get and how far you can progress if you play 100 games of Ultimate Team without putting too much money in and all of that good stuff. So we pick ourselves up a, a Kevin Prince Boateng. I felt like it was time. I didn't like Hoga, and my original plan was to get 
Boateng into the team, but I didn't have quite enough coins. So as we uh, sold a few kits and stuff and had a, a couple of games and the draft and all of that, we're actually sitting on some pretty decent coins right now. Decided to treat myself to a Kevin Prince Boateng, and we shall see in the next episode whether or not he will be a good addition to the team. If you've enjoyed the video, guys, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Keep the hype for this series going uh, and uh, tune in whenever I upload it. That'd be absolutely awesome. Thank you so much. Subscribe if you're new to my channel and I'll catch you next time, guys. Peace.